Hello, hello. It is time for another video. OMG. Um, this video is another one of our thrift store, low cost, recycle, uh, reuse, upcycle, clearance, pull from your, your old stash, pull from your closet kind of videos. Uh, with the exception of a few products, a few helpers. And our helpers today is going to be gel medium. And if you don't have gel medium, use Mod Podge, whatever you have, or matte medium. And gesso. If you don't have gesso, you can make your own. There is a lot of videos on YouTube that tells you how to make it. But I do know that if you have baby powder and white acrylic paint and uh, school glue, you can make your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the other things I have are, um, uh, okay. So I brought out makeup, not my makeup. Um, this was, uh, I bought this at the dollar store a few years ago. Um, uh, I used it a couple times on art journal pages. So we're going to use that again. Um, I have different colors. I have um, a smoky eye set. Ooh. Um, we have a bold set, another bold set, and a nude or neutrals set. And then I have a clearance uh, uh, like uh, trim uh roll that I got on clearance or I got it at a dollar uh a dollar store no a uh, thrift shop can't remember which um it has a clearance on it so I think I probably just got it on clearance I bought it a long time ago it's been in my stash so yeah um and then I got a bag of buttons um the bulk of these I bought from Debbie Epps here on YouTube uh but some of them are mine I I, I found in my stash that I threw in there um, that I did get in clearance. And those I know I bought at uh, Joann's um, in their clearance bin. Um, so we're going to use some buttons. I have some old book pages. I have a doily. This doily, you're never going to believe it. Um, I received a wonderful gift box um, from Gila, one of... Uh, my friends, my good friends, and um, a scriber and um, supporters, and she sent me a box of um, from a restaurant where she lives, um, and it was a, a home kit to make uh, where you can, uh, you know, make your own s'mores. And it came the 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 chef used to work for um, a famous. Uh, it was used to be a pastry chef for a famous chef. Um, so the doily was in the box with the goodies. So ah, still smells like, uh, you know, graham crackers and chocolate. <laughs> um, so we're going to use that. And then I, I got this fabric. I think I got this. Um, I, I purchased a, a kit from Jana. The Preppy Crafty, Crafty Girl, I think, is where I got this. I, I purchased one of her kits from her Etsy store. And then there was this piece, piece of fabric. I think um, I think that's where I got this out of. I could be wrong, um, but I think that's where I got this from. So, uh, fabric. My journal. Um, and then I've got my circle cutters, my very old Creative Memory circle cutters. I'm going to use those. Um, graphite and charcoal pencils in here. Use of those. And then this is just what contains the cutters that go along with this creative memory system that I'm going to use to cut uh, with the circles. So that's what we're going to do. Um, how is it going to turn out? I have no idea. Um, is it going to look good? No idea. Uh, but, you know, Whatever it turns out to be is what it turns out to be. Maybe we'll like it. Maybe we won't. Or maybe you'll see what I don't like and be able to uh, learn from that or go from there and make yours better. And if you do, 
I hope that you'll, sorry, rocking the camera here for a second. Uh, maybe you'll um, share your project with me, which I really hope you do. Um, you can send it to me in Messenger on Facebook. You can uh, post it on my Facebook page and tag me. You can post it on your Facebook page and tag me. You can post it on my Instagram and tag me. Any way you want to put it out on social media and tag me would be fabulous. I mean, just fabulous. Um, if you don't, that's okay. Um, you know, and then if you really wanted to, you could share this video with your friends and family. You know, if they're on YouTube, maybe they want to come over and subscribe. That would be great, too. Um, but no, so uh, that's what we're going to do. And... Um, a little prayer you know um so this is a, a new journal book i started uh, working in i don't know why uh well i do know why i'm saving um, i only have a few more pages left in my big eight by eight book and well i want to save those for strings um you know because it's bigger page book and you know whatever have you and this i can you know just run through this you know a little bit quicker for videos and it's just kind of the size I wanted I wanted to get back into a, a you know kind of like a six by nine spread type page so you know all that so uh, this was the first page I uh, if you didn't see the video on this this was a thank you page to the lovely Joyce Edge and Teresa Peterman and Sheila uh, great friends of mine um, and they sent me the goodies and I used some of my own and I created this page. So now we're moving on to this page. Or maybe I should start that. No, maybe I should just start that. We'll do that next time. I'm just, this is already glued and prepped and ready, so that's where we're going to start. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first we're going to cut out our circles. And we're going to cut circles out of fabric. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And... Um, I always pull the red one just because that's the one that's got the closest in proximity. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that one. And hopefully this, these cutters will cut through fabric. And, uh, uh let's just hope that this works. I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, it's not the circles I really want. It's the, it's the. I, I want to, hmm, that's what I was afraid of. Well, okay, so these are, these, they, these do not cut through fabric very well. I'm just saying. They're great with paper, not so much through fabric. I don't have any good fabric scissors. So, well, you know. Um, let me get out my Timmy scissors to the rescue. Okay, we're still going to use this. I'm still going to cut this, and I'm still going to use it. We're still going to use it, my friends. Waste not, want not, they say. Or as I was taught when I was younger. Well, not that I was taught, but you know. Because I grew up pretty much on my own. So I'm just going to I'm going to give this a cut. Here, we're going to use this. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this, this, this piece. All right. Let me go over here. We'll move over here, spot them. I'm going to do is, I wonder if these cheapy pens will write on fabric. Looks like they will. I mean, I have markers, but I don't want the marker to go through, right? And so, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to use the pen. Maybe I'll just use a pencil. Shauna, a pencil. Um, slightly pencil. And then I'll just cut it out with the scissors, right? Okay. So then we'll come over here. And see, I wanted the different gauge of circles, but whatever. This one is bigger than that one. Okay, so we'll get this one as close as we can. I don't want to go out. So we'll just do this. Okay. And then. I wanted, I wanted, let me cut this off, because 
said, don't want to intrude. There's a reason why I'm cutting these the way I'm cutting them. You're going to see. Just sit back, have, have a, get a cup of tea, glass of wine, cup of coffee, glass of water, bottle of water, or maybe you're already along with me. That would be great too. And you don't have to have circle makers. You can, you can do it organic style and, um, you know, make your own funky circles or make them, you know, straight or use a template of sorts. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can use a stencil to do it. Um, you don't have to have what I have, but I'd love to have you follow along. That would be fantastic. Let's see here. Oh, this is not going to do it. But I do want to, let's see if I can do... Um, so I'm going to try to do this one so it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks cool. It's probably not exactly bigger, but it'll do. Okay. I just want, um, oh, I could bring out, you know, now that's just too much work. I would have done that to begin with. I could bring out. So my circle stencils, let's see, one, two, three, four. Should we have a half a circle? We should, right? We should have a half a circle. We should have a half a circle. Mm -hmm. We should. So let's do that. Let's have a half of a, half of a big circle. Mm-hmm. So it's Wednesday, and I'm tired already. And I didn't work Monday, of course. I don't really work Mondays anymore because, you know, my illness says, and the, the medication says, oh, no, we think not. Mm -hmm. So Mondays, I'm off, but man, the last two days, I don't know, they've worn me out. I guess they've worn me out. All right. Now, I could have used paper for this, but why not use this pretty fabric, right? I mean, you know. Okay, now I'm going to definitely go in for some of these. Yep, why not use this pretty fabric? Because I don't think I would use it necessarily for anything else. It's got some pretty colors in it, but it's just, you know, yeah. I just don't know if I could use it for anything else. So how many does that make us? You know, that's six. Let's do, this is one more, this is seven. This is good. We want any more circles. I will do something else. I have an idea. It's not my idea. I've seen it used. It's not my idea. Um, but we'll, we'll get out a cap from our sprays and we'll use that for circles. That's, that's not cheating, right? That's cheap. And if you don't have sprays, maybe you have a hairspray bottle that has a cap on it or... Maybe you have, uh, you know, leave-in conditioner bottle that has the cap on it that you could stick on, right? You don't have a spray bottle. Or you have something else circular that um, you can pull the cap off of to make some other circles. I don't know. We'll see how much room we have on the page always the test okay so we put that over there i'm kind of done with this now the question becomes how do we get the circles out of it right so i'm going to show you a little known trick you just fold it and you clip it in both directions and it doesn't have to be straight at this point you're just clipping it 
just so you can get your scissors in there and now again I don't have the best scissors but you just get down there now if you're doing a heart you would fold it over and draw your heart or cut your heart you wouldn't pre-cut the circles but I want kind of evenish circles the first one's not going to be even because you know I tried to cut it uh, and it just you know we know that one's going to be crooked but that's okay um yeah so what have you guys been up to I, let's see I streamed on I stream on Monday. I think I streamed on Monday. I did stream on Monday. Oh, because I got my new toy on Monday. Okay, so let's let's shore this up here. Um, let's shore this up here. Kind of eat. Take off this. You know what? No, we'll leave the crooked end. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. It'll be fine. Um, yes, I did stream because I got my new toy, and you guys helped me out. I got my uh, Vagabond from Mama Vaughn. Thank you, Mama. I love you. Um, yeah. And I can't wait to share another idea I have for, um, for that. Um, once I get some other die cuts, or not die cut, well, not die cuts, but the, the plates, die cut plates. Is that, is that, is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Die cut designs? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to get some more die cuts. And then, when I do, um, we're going to ha have an, I have some ideas other than than using the die cuts for what they're used for, right? You know, I mean, you're supposed to cut things, and um, and one of the things, that, one of the one, one of the die cuts I'm gonna buy is a circle die cut plate, because I know that my die cutter cuts fabric. Mm -hmm. Yep, we found that out on Monday, so that's that's one of the first ones I'm gonna buy is a circle cutter because why not right to make it easier on myself but i want in these videos to show you how you can make do with what you have because i don't have everything in my studio um, i show you guys a lot of things you know with all some of the pretty stuff, well, the pretty stuff that I do own, you know, I got some nice watercolors and this, that, and the other, and I show you nice things with that, but what about, you know, what about when you don't have all that stuff, right? And I like a bar, I like bargain hunting next, as, uh, as much as the next person, and I am not opposed or above, I buy thrift store stuff, I love, th I love, like, going to garage sales and thrift stores to see what I could possibly find. Not, I don't always find things, but sometimes you do find a gem of a gem. And, um, yeah. So, sometimes you do find a gem of a gem. Don't be afraid to check out your local thrift stores. Especially if you're new to mixed media and you don't have a lot of stuff. Because that's how how I, when I first started, because I did not have any money when I first started. Well, I started out with, um, when I first started getting into mixed media, I was already knee deep in clay. And so I had already, you know, invested money and all that, you know, and I'd already been doing that for couple of years or whatever so I thought oh gosh here I go down that rabbit hole again and sure enough I did but I said well you know I want to see what it's all about first you know because I didn't have all the money in the world back then 
And so I thought, you know what? I, you know, and I still have, I still have a, a little box full of mark makers and stuff that I, I have had since back then from my first um, mixed media days. And I pulled out from time to time, and I don't want these crooked. I don't want those. I do want, I want the straight of the straight, but I don't want the. I don't want anything too crazy crooked. And I don't want any, like, Well, Shauna, if you could cut straight, that would be okay. That would be a good thing. See, this is why I don't make my own circles and try to cut them. Well, of course, it'd help if I had better scissors, but I don't. So, if you're going to be cutting fabric without a die cutter, or you're going to be making stuff with fabric, get yourself a good pair of scissors for fabric. I don't. I fiddle with fabric and I use it in my mixed media, but I don't, I don't, I don't do fabric. I don't do fabric otherwise. I don't make dresses or clothes or anything. If you're going to get into making clothes or any kind of real fabric work, you're going to be doing a lot of stuff with fabric maybe, get yourself a good pair of scissors. Timmy scissors to the rescue. Okay, that'll be, I don't mind that square edge thing. Okay, got two more and then we're going to get started. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I, I didn't put, want to put this on fast. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. If you don't hear this, <laughs> no, I probably won't put it on fast forward because then you guys miss this. You guys miss me talking. You know, you guys, I, 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 I miss you talking. So this will probably be maybe somewhat of a longer video. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like. Maybe there'll be some some parts I can I can cut out or fast forward. Definitely fast forward or or skip the drying parts. So I'll save you guys that um, annoyance, right? For sure. I won't make you guys sit through the. That's the one thing that's nice about. The recorded videos versus the live is I can fast forward or skip out the drying parts. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love doing the lives. Don't get me wrong. I love doing lives. I love interacting with you guys. Real time for sure. Um, but the nice thing about doing videos is you guys don't have to sit through the agony of hearing my dryer. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and this is the crooked one. And we know we're going to have one. Maybe I can kind of straighten it out as I go around the circle. We'll see. I'm not a precision cutter with these scissors, as you know. These are kind of, you know, I have a line to follow, I can cut straight for the most part. But with these scissors, it's even hard. But um, it's a jagged circle. How do you how do you cut that straight? See, it tried to cut it, but see, those blades aren't meant for cutting fabric. Now are they, Jonna? No. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, let's see here. How can I? Let's see. Let me just have to make this a little bit bigger than originally planned. That's okay. Gotta have different size circles, right? there. 
I don't mess it up. I always say on my live shows, there's always time for me to muck it up. And there it is. Until I say it's done, there's always time for me to muck it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is about as straight as it's going to get without a precision cutter. Which I don't have. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to move this over to the side through the magic television. We are going to move on. Alright. So, now on to the fun part. I think. So, we have our doily here. And I think... Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Okay. That was a little loud, but, you know. Okay. Um, I do want to put some of this paper on here, but I don't want to just put it. I don't want to just, you know. I think, since I don't have a stencil to use, because we are trying to limit the professional stuff we have are using these videos. I'm going to use some of this doily as stencil. So let's just actually cut this. See, and now this paper, which is probably very biodegradable, um, it's not going in the trash, it's going in my journal. And then, you know, when I cease to exist, and my kids can decide if they want to burn my journals or bury me with them or put them in the landfills, um, then they'll go wherever they are going to go. But till then, um, yeah, and then maybe we'll put some of this on the page. So and let's just cut this in here, shall we? Okay. And now I'm going to get out. Uh, if you have Mod Podge, or I only have Matte Medium, so I'm going to have to use that. Sorry. Um, I haven't used Mod Podge in like forever, and well, if you've been following me long enough, you know I can't stand this stuff. So I don't have it in my studio. Um, With the, um, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. It was right here under my nose. Okay, let's just. Start putting the stuff down. I'm not even going to, I don't, again, I don't really care where it goes. Except for I don't. I guess my hair could be in there. It's my journal after all, but you know, why leave my DNA behind? Okay. Now, with this video probably go up tomorrow and tomorrow I'm going to put up a couple I'm going to record a couple more I need to get ahead of the game I need to get um, I need to get several recordings done because I need to I'm just just a time just it's just my worst enemy for real and um, you know I, I like talking to you guys and I like being here you know but between working full-time and you know 
having a life with the ghost and um, yeah you know my schedule is just my schedule just kind of does not allow me to have that because it takes time to record you know you gotta record and edit and upload and it just takes time so I just need to try to get ahead of the game. I want to try to preserve that. Remind me that I want to re preserve those little circle bit things. Um, those indents in paper. I like those. I always end up covering them up. Why am I going around the edge edges? I don't know. So let's stop that right now. Okay? Okay, we'll just stop that right now. Stop it, Shauna. Stop it. Okay, and then we will put the red doily here so it doesn't go to waste. Who was just by its, who was smaller, and even if I hadn't torn apart and wanted to use it for for texture, oh, this has a little bit of something something in it too. Um, you could just put the whole darn. I would have just put the whole darn thing on the page, but I want to um, try to. What am I going to put that one at? Um, I would just put the whole darn thing on the page um, and not worried about cutting it. But I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, spread out the doily across both pages. I guess I've kind of got to kind of put it over there, huh? Okay. I like that. And now I'm going to switch to this stuff. This is not the best on the market and I have very little left so I want to just use it up. So there's nothing wrong with Liquitex. It's just not my favorite, right? And I have just little bit left. But it'll do what I need it to do. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to use it to glue down our square circles. Our square circles. Mm-hmm. That's right. Our square circles. Just like that. And yeah, our square circles. Ooh, that was a lot. And we'll just put that right over there. Just put that right over there. And this one. Right. Oh, I forgot. 
silly craziness at the bottom. Oh, and I don't want to wait. This one has got to go elsewhere. I don't want those ridges, arrows. Uh, yeah, I just don't like that on my page. I don't want. I don't. I don't dislike it. Ah, see, I got some there. Gosh, dog it. I don't want that. I don't mind those ridges, but it's just not going. It's just not what I want. I know you're probably saying it's okay. Just go with it. But it's not what I want. Just, you'll see it's not what I want. It's not what I want. And if it's not what you want, you either change it and go and get what you, you know, make it what you want, or you could run with it. Maybe it's a happy accident. In this case, no. No, no happy accident. Uh uh. No happy accident. Accident. Oh, this one, you know what, maybe it should go down here. Okay. This one that goes here. There. Yep. We're going to do that. Then we have another half, we have our half circle, which, should we put it up there? No, can't do that, the other big one's up there. And we could put it down here though, I guess. Let's do that. What, why do we put it over here? Let me think, let me, ooh, I kind of like that better. Right? We kind of like that better. You kind of like that better too, right? Just nod. Just agree. And I think my dogs are trying to tell me they have to go out. Yet again. All right. Just a minute. I'll let you guys out. You gotta go let the dogs out. And this isn't a woot woot. So don't woot woot. Okay? All right. I'll be right back in one minute. Okay. Back temporarily while they do their business. Gosh, I left a lot of these edgy things, didn't I? You were not watching very well, were you, Shauna? Apparently not. <sighs> Leave it to me to not listen to myself. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, that's the reason why you talk to yourself. Uh, I mean, I was talking to you, but I was also talking to myself at the time. And that's the reason why you talk to yourself. And you say you're supposed to listen to yourself because you give yourself the best answers a lot of times. Apparently, I did not do that this time. Nope, nope, did not do it. Uh, I like that so far. Okay. So far, so good. We have, yep, we have, oh, oh and yes, I only did six and a half. Okay. So, where should this one go? Nope, not covering up that. Put that one over there. That might be nice, huh? this. Hmm. Where do we put it over here? Hmm. I wish to hear you now. See, this is the, you know, this is the downfall. Unlike the good thing about not being able to have to hear my heat gun, now I can't hear you guys. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's, it needs something up over here, I think. Mm-hmm. 
I like that little inlet there, so I think I'm going to leave that. Okay, we're going with it. We're going with it. Yep. I think we are going with that. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used fabric in your journals before. I'd love to know. I have more than one. If you have, let me know. Not on the cover, you know, actually in an art piece. You know, in, in, in on a page, you know, not on a card, no, in a journal or in a painting, that kind of deal. I want to know. I want to hear from you. Inquiring mind wants to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good enough for that. Um, now, let's see. I am going to get rid of that, first of all put this away and um, go close my door okay I'm back all right so we got down our fabric now let's see what about using some of this but then will it look too Christmassy mm, it might because of the red and the green and I mean there's pink in there but and it's actually, I mean, it just kind of looks Christmassy, I think. So maybe I don't want to use this. Because right now, by itself, it looks fine. But the minute I add this, I'm thinking Christmas. And that's not really what I want this page to say. So we will save this for another time. I promise we will use this. See, that's what happens. You pull out a lot of things and it just doesn't work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Because, mm. I mean, I'm going to do other stuff to it. That looks silly. Across there. We'll just put it on the edges. I don't know it doesn't really add value to it either. No, it's just not for this page. It's just not. It's just not for this page. I don't know if I want to add it later, we can. For now, I'm just putting it over there. So, um, let's dry this. And then we'll put it, we'll bring in some gesso. Yeah. Unless when I bring in the gesso, I might end up covering up some of this. So maybe then it won't look so Christmassy. And then we'll, we'll, we'll put the gesso through the stencil. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. It's dry. I'm back. Let me get out, um, not really the palette knife I wanted. This is fine, but that's not really the one I wanted either because I think that one's going to cause me issue. That's the one I wanted. Spend my water over there. Saying, pick me! Alright. So what I'm going to do We're gonna work on our our finger technique. Yep. Ugh. I didn't say fingers. Getting down to the nitty gritty of this uh, gesso jar, and I can't just put some on my finger and get out of there. So I'm gonna have to do on the knife first. So 
so satisfying sometimes to get your hands dirty. It's okay if you go outside the circle. That's going to be the fun of it. Go in there and brighten up your circles. Maybe you want to bring some along the, the lines of your fabric. I do. I want to highlight those lines. And you'll work out your gesso schmear. We're going to work on our schmear. And if you've been following me long enough, you know what I'm talking about when I talk about the gesso schmear. And it's okay if your fabric lifts up a little bit. It ain't really going to go anywhere. Turn your page if you need to. Make sure I'm on camera. Oops. Oops. Run your pages in there. Oops. Oops. Turn this around so. I am right-handed, so it's just easier for me to so. Just go around until you have brightened all your circles inside and you've um, highlighted all your edges the way you want them. Maybe you don't want the outer edges highlighted. Um, but maybe you do. Maybe you want to do the same thing I'm doing. Maybe you're inspired to do the same thing I'm doing. And that's cool too. Some of the corners I'm leaving in the, you see I'm leaving them in the, the circles because I want to, I'm going to, we're going to edge those later. I want to highlight those, those edges. 
going to put in my gesso and highlight those. nice and bright in the middle. You can still see the text. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you can still see a lot of the text down there. I'm not covering it all up. Um, and it'll definitely lighten as it dries. But you can definitely see the text that's up there. I don't like to cover it all up. I like to leave some of it showing. Okay. Now, we're going to, I'm going to bring in some of our lovely, um, what do you, um, we're going to, um, what do you call it? I'm going to dry this actually, and then we'll come back and we'll stencil, okay? Okay, so, dried that. Now let's see, let's, um, how do we want to face this? Do we want to face it this way? Hmm. In or out? I don't know. I'm just going to grab some gesso. And if your gesso is not thick enough, you can put baby powder in it to thicken it up. But this is heavy gesso. So you can thicken it up in your way. Um, or uh, with baby powder as much as you want. Ah, look at how pretty that is. Just a little something, something added to the page. Make it. You know, so see, you can use anything almost. As long as it's got holes and stuff, you can use anything as a stencil. I mean, this is just a paper doily that's going to fall apart on me. Any moment, for sure. And I'm just... Kind of going around a little bit here and a little bit there. And that really, it's not really going to be anything. I mean, it's just for extra design, right? Okay. All right. I didn't know that extra blue. Okay. Okay. Now this doily piece on the garbage because it's not saveable. Um, that's this just so can go back in there. So the rest of the paper doily, this stuff. Don't throw this away. We're going to use this at some point. I don't know when. Could be the next video. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to save it. It'll get used. Because this is, this is use what you have. Use it up. Okay. So now I definitely have to dry this. And then I'll come back. And then we'll do the coloring. And maybe add some buttons. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I was testing out some of the eyeshadows, 
And normally I would gravitate, you guys that have followed me know I'd probably gravitate towards the blues, maybe even the purples or pinks, but I'm not gonna. The other alternative, you know, there's green in here and I could go for the greens, but there's really not any good greens in here. Mm, no. So what I've opted to go for is the neutrals. Mm, um, don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to start. Um, I also have some makeup that I use with other paints and stuff. Then I'm going to start um, here. This is a really light color. Just keep that one, I think. Um, let's just try this here, I guess. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this because it's so light. I mean, it's really light. I mean, it's like, this is the, it's like a, a peachy color, but it kind of matches the peachy in there. Right. So I'm just going to put that on. You can see it a little bit. I'm just going to go around and put a little bit of this in each circle until I, I like it, basically. I hate these. These uh, makeup brushes aren't the best. These ones that are that come in here. But it is what it is. I have other stuff, but trying to keep this at low cost. Um, yeah. Of course, I am trying to go over gesso, but you just keep coloring. And now, if you have pan pastels and you want to use those, I have some, but I didn't want to pull those out. I wanted this to be, um, you know, thrift store, reuse, upcycle, low cost, budget. Um, yeah. So, but if you have them and you want to use them, go ahead. I would suggest, though, if you're going to use pan pastels or makeup, um, either um, if you have a fixative and you want to use that, use that. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, use hairspray. Um, to fix fix it. Um, it won't come off a lot, but you know, if you want to preserve it, um, you know, it's going to be, if you're just doing it in a journal, you, you don't necessarily have to, um, but um, you might still want to. The makeup brush went through the pad. <laughs> it's not the best makeup brushes. I gotta tell you, I'm probably being too hard on them too, because you know they're cheap dollar store makeup brushes. Because this is cheap dollar store makeup, so it's not artist grade materials by any stretch of the imagination. It's not archival. So, you know. But I bought these a long time ago. And I didn't have money. And I didn't have all the, the, the stuff the cool kids were buying. Um, I've used them a few times. But, um, They did their job for the couple times I used them. And I, I saved them in case my grandkids ever wanted to play or something. Or if I ever wanted to have, if I ever needed to pull them out again and 
thought, well, maybe, you know, I could use it, you know, here. Maybe you guys. Because, um, you know, we all don't have all the money in the world, right? I still don't have all the money in the world. Um, and I still, I'm back on a budget now. Um, so I have to watch what I spend. And so when you're on a budget, you make do. So I'm sharing some of my tricks and I'm sure I'm not, I know I'm not, I know I'm not the first one that's thought of this. In fact, if you, um, watch Marta or any small art here on YouTube, I know she did a page, um, way back. Um, okay, that's not working for me. A couple few years ago where she used makeup once or twice. <clears throat> I think it's time to, yeah, much easier. And these are, I think, maybe Walgreens or no equate. I don't know if that's Walgreens or or um, CVS brand uh, makeup sponges. I'm just rubbing that over the gesso. No way that poor little makeup applicator would have survived coloring. Um, You guys are starting to see a little bit of the color here on the page. She didn't use, uh, Marta didn't use fabric on her page though. She, um, she did something else on her page. She used makeup a few times. I can't remember all that she, she did. I think she used, I, I know she used lace on one of them. Um, but I think that's Hmm. Hmm. I better stop watching Marcus videos. I, <laughs> I think the using of the lace on the other page is probably from one of those videos too. <laughs> oh boy. Can you tell that we artists learn from each other? Isn't that great, though? We can share and learn from each other. Okay. There's that. Now, let's see if this applicator. Then I think I want to go to this color. I think white. Yeah, let's go this color. And let's, um, do I want to do it on half? Let's do it.
Yeah, I think I like that where it's kind of landed on one half. Light on one side, dark on the other. Just like you're doing your your eyes. Just like you're doing your eyes. Now, mm, should do do splotches. I won't say splotches, but we'll do little bits of this. Some areas. around the edges. These eyeshadows are getting a workout today, I tell you. Don't worry. 
there's one we're not going to have this completely like beigey page we're going to have some contrast coming in here don't you worry don't you worry Liking it. I don't know if you guys are. But I am. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, bring in that dark. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. If you've been following me, you know I'm also a new pros girl. So when I want to go outside of my comfort zone, which is my blues and my not all pinks, but I have I tend to have some pinks that I like. I uh, I will go in my neutrals. I I love I I love some of my neutrals. I gotta tell you. Some colors really make me happy. Some neutrals really make me happy. And this neutral right here is like a bronzy brown, and I like it. I like it a lot. Press lighter, Shauna. Press lighter. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. This brush will just go on to me. <laughs> I'm just being too hard on it for sure. Look at those beautiful circles in a square. Beautiful circles in a square. Beautiful circles in a square. Yeah. 
And then we're going to do a couple more things, and this page is done. Go lay down. You were already out. You don't. You do not have to go out. Minute. Go lay down. You guys have already been out a couple times during this video. You do not need to go out. Oh, this this brush. This brush, I think, has almost had it. Same with this brush. OMG. OMG. Come on. You know what? When in doubt, rub it out with your finger. I should probably should have just used my finger to begin with. I probably would have been happier. Yep. Probably would have been happier with the. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna redo the whole thing, but I am going to fix anywhere that I'm not liking the. Those brushes, <laughs> cheap dollar store brushes. Plus, I want to get um, I want to get the right blend. I usually do the, uh, I have really nice brushes for my uh, regular makeup that, uh, that I use. This isn't my regular makeup, obviously. When in doubt, rub it out. When in doubt, rub it out. Okay, that's a lot better. See how nice and blended those are? These, they're nice. They're not as nice as these. Plus, I can get, get right up there on the, the fabric. Yeah, see, just I mean a little bit of a little bit of uh, a little bit of rubbing it out makes all the difference in the world. One last one. Um, contaminating colors. I tend to do that when I work with my fingers, but you know, hey. That's perfect. Okay. Now, don't get scared. Do something really drastic. And I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we're going to do something really drastic. Remember these things? Okay. So, I'm going to get my pencil. And, oh. I did want to do one other thing. 
We still gotta do one more thing. Back up the bus. I just wanna get some of the, the dark on the edges. I knew I was forgetting something. Not a lot, just just a little bit. Again, just just like the 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 other key or the other color, I just just lightly touched I just lightly lightly touched and you can do the same thing with pan pastels see how it nicely shat it shaded that space love it love it love it love it I'm just going in the places where there's no fabric. Loving this. You guys got to try this. This is fantastic. If you don't have any makeup, that's fine. Go to the dollar store. Get whatever color palette you like the best for one dollar one dollar that's it one dollar that's all you need one dollar to have this yumminess art does not have to be expensive it does not it does not have to be expensive And even I don't have all of these colors in pan pastels. Oh, I have some. Actually, no, I do have the neutrals. I probably, and I do have like maybe a peach or a pink, but I don't know if I'd have. I, I have, I have uh, like two sets of pan pastels. Um, thank you, Pookie. I love you if you're watching this video. Um, my Pookie helped me out and I got some from Janet. Um, and um, uh, I had bought a set. So I do have in total like three like three sets um, or two and a half sets or something like that. Um, so and they, they are I, I, I will admit they are they are kind of pricey. Oh I should do a, a live video, a live stream using those. I think I will. I think I will. See, you just you just pick your colors and you go around. Oh, I love that. I was a little I was a little apprehensive. There's a word for you for today. Apprehensive because of the fabric. I wasn't sure what color I was going to go for, and I was first, like I said, I was first thinking about the greens. I'm glad I went with the neutrals. Okay, all right. Now, now that I've made a complete mess of my desk, um, not that it really matters to clean off my finger because, well, um, I'm going to be making them even messier. Hmm. Nope, this is not what I want. This is too, 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 too. This is too something. This is 
Can I do the 60? Let me try the 60. I don't know if I want, this is the, this is the, the, the graphite. I don't know if I want the graphite or the charcoal. I want the charcoal. Um, let's see here. This is the medium. Let's see, let's just one more. Let me sharpen this for a minute. Don't go nowhere. Just going to sharpen this so I have a, a point to work with because you can't have a pencil that doesn't have a point, right? I mean, right? And why isn't this, uh, oh, I took something in there. Well, jeez. Hold on. Let me fix my pencil. Hello? Okay. <laughs> I had to fix my pencil because apparently it did not want to work. So I made sure it's working, and I'm just going around and just using my finger to shade my circles. Not easy to, um, and maybe it's the, because it's cheap dollar store makeup, but it doesn't seem to want to write. And this is just charcoal. Sure. I mean, it is writing, but. You hear my song back there? Something. We can really tell these are circles. Hmm? Right? <laughs> Hush. Oops. Yeah, we're not supposed to happen. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Hush. <laughs> Hush. Quiet. Oh my god, these dogs. Go lay down. There's nothing for you here. I mean, there's nothing for you. You don't need to go out. There's nothing for you. You're fine. Now we're going to add in some extra definition and you may not want to do this part but we want to want to highlight and bring it to life now right at least i do <clears throat> and not everywhere just you know, there's some that's that's got the, uh, what do you call it, texture from the, um, 
the um, what do you call it the stenciling that we did so I don't I'm not even gonna bother with that and that's the you know that gives you that that um, hit or miss you know the the lost and found edges which is cool you know and you can even um, you know do it on some of your papers um, if they're in that squared format you know Again, I'm not going where it's, it's textured. I'm going in between it. Look at my fingers. <laughs> I told you the next part was dirty, and it didn't matter if I cleaned my fingers. You need to go around and give your give your shapes definition sometimes. And it's not taking away from the the we call it the the coloring that we laid on it's just enhancing it it's making it all come to life there we go oh i love it okay so what do you think now, again, I don't put titles on my pages. Now, we got to have, we should have a button, maybe. Do you think that anything will go on here? I mean, I don't know. I kind of think now I like it the way it is. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. No. We've got, i got to see. You know, I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling the buttons now, guys. I think, I think I kind of like it the way it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut off these edges, and I'm going to call it done. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, do this page, or would have done this page. Would you have added the buttons? Would you, would you, would you have added the lace? I still think the lace didn't add any, wouldn't have added anything to it. I like it the way it is. Yeah. So, see, sometimes you can pull out stuff and you just never use it. And that's okay. I like the page the way it is. Mm -hmm. So, it's my journal. And I can make the decision not to use that. We'll use these another time. We will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay. Let me know in the comments. Uh, hey, on your way in or way out, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. 
Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love you to be part of the family. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Love you all. Take care. Oh my God.